Hey guys, Zombie Brian here, and this is part 3 of the Rock, Paper, Scissors tutorial. A lot of you have been waiting a while for this, and I apologize, I have been fairly busy in real life. But, uh, finally here, so, let's get started. Uh, I have made two versions of this, actually. Uh, this is version 1, for the beginners. Very simple, uh, doesn't look that bad either, in my opinion. Um, and quite frankly, I just like the look of it. And it's still a fairly quick system. Uh, works pretty well. How you would do that is you just take the win-loss detection, invert it, and string it to the backs of these uh, three by three, and line up repeaters with the torches. So you want them on so that these would normally be off. So that if you get a win or a tie, like so. The, t uh, the torches would turn on and then the reset and that's good so that's the fairly simple um, scaled down version of it but what I have in mind for the more experienced people is this uh, this was the scoring system I tried to use in my old one um, I couldn't figure it out and just ended up giving up but what it is, is the 7 segment display, which is right here. Um, right now it's showing the number 0. Uh, hooked up to a cycler decoder. Now what this is, is a terrific memory system that just spins a decoded line of blocks around. Like right here. These are the left, um, top left top and bottom left uh, pixel bar segments whatever um, and they are held on because the power can pass through these sandstone blocks but not these glass blocks so that turns on a light on the display and uh, displays it so if I were to hit this button we would change from a 0 to a 1 and there's only two blocks here and no other blocks anywhere else because the number one only takes up two segments so that's fairly simple uh... the zero though is different the zero is the only thing in the cycler as you can see with this right here and that's how we reset it right uh... this is uh... fairly i couldn't really figure it out fairly easily i had to ask for some help from some friends but as soon as i got it uh, it seem like a good idea so what it is or what I use it for is to reset the entire system uh, the master reset button for the display is over here when you were to hit it it would flip this RS nor latch uh, go to be inverted to an AND gate which the other input of the AND gate is hooked up to a clock which just happens to be frozen because I saved and quit Oops. Instant mine is fun. Alright. So it's hooked up to a clock. And when this RS nor flips, it will let the clock signal through. Rotating these. And um causing it to go around until the zero comes back around. One more and now this has got power and this goes down here to flip the RS nor back and you can see that this is no longer going through so if I were to hit this again or if I were to score another point which is how you would do this uh, the points come through well everything comes through into this monostable circuit and goes through so if you were to score another point it would go through the monostable and cycle this around again and the zero would be off so that if I were to press this master reset button again um, it would work and you can press this button as many times as you want and no matter where this cycler is in its rotation uh, the reset will still work so right now let's hit the number three if I hit this it will slowly cycle through until it goes back to the number zero. 
Uh, it does also have the letters A, B, and C in. There were three extra slots. Yeah, there's A, there's B, and there's C right there. There were three extra slots, and I had no idea what to fill them with, and I thought just blank wouldn't work at all. So, I wouldn't do that. But, uh, I just put some letters in there for the hexadecimal feel. So, how you would hook this up is you would have one for the red side, one for the blue side. Uh, perhaps replacing these walls, maybe, and putting these in, facing in. Um, so you'd have these facing in the walls, and have one hooked up to the red winds, and have one hooked up to the blue winds. And then you could just do the standard thing I have here for the tie, uh, if you want. And no one getting a point would mean that it's been a tie. So you have one hooked up to each, uh, and each right after this AND gate. So it still has to pass through this monostable circuit, which is set to three delay and goes through. And if you were to have this on all the time, it would only go through the monostable once, and it would rotate one time. And each time you get a win, after soft resetting, which would be this button right here, this just resets this to, or, uh, the game type, and it sends you on to the next round. This button over here resets the entire scoreboard, so you can play to 9 or C if you really want. You can play to C and not have to reset this, but you, can, you have to reset this after you play around. So, say, rock, scissors, blue win. You can press this, and that'll reset this, the hardware. You need to press that button for this system to uh, work again. So after each uh, round, you press that button. And you can play as many times as you can, and each time someone gets a win, their seven segment display will count up one. So until you uh, either hit the cap, which would be zero, uh, or hit the master reset button, the scoreboards will not reset. So, until you get to the point where you want to stop, you just hit the master reset, which would be somewhere other than right here, and you uh, just reset the scoreboard. I'm thinking of hooking the master reset up to the game reset, too, just so you don't have to press two buttons, uh, but yeah. So it's a fairly basic system right now, um, I'm trying to keep it that way, the only stupid thing about it is this clock likes to uh, turn off when you save and quit and this over here uh, tends to have some bugs with pistons where some don't push and uh, they push a row out in front that's just gonna happen there's no way to prevent that it's just a coding bug normally that won't happen though so say uh, we got a blue win this will be our blue display. It'll only rotate once. Then we reset it with the reset button. Then we get another blue win. Alright. So this is, just think of this as the blue display. So there's our uh, two points clocked up right here. Once we hit the hard reset button, master reset, whatever you want to call it, uh, it'll rotate through until it hits zero. And then you can start playing another round, uh, or another set of games, I should say. So that's it. Um, this is probably all for the rock, paper, scissors tutorial. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be putting the schematic file for this system right here down in the description because it's a lot harder to make than this. Uh, this took me quite a lot of trial and error. So you guys won't have to be bugged with that. But if you want, you can just hook one of these up to blue, one of these up to red, and have your own little scoreboard. I might do that myself, but uh, I'll show you guys in a video. Uh, expect a video on our server project that's going to be... Uh, I'll upload that soon. Um, we have made a tiny bit of progress, um, and I want to just get everybody on board again. Two people have been banned for some reason. Uh, one of them is currently unbanned, but uh, if you guys are going to be on the server, 
please don't grief anyone or steal anything. It just leads to getting banned. Um, so I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed my video, and hope you look forward to the next one. See you later.